grandma is actually now mom to her grandchild, not that of this original daughter's you know, family, but she had adopted another seven-year-old special needs grandchild. So that's now her son, and they are without a car, so they can't get him back and forth to therapy, which is in Boise for some of his psychology stuff, and, and some real challenges to her life. And then the medical team that's caring for her grandson's son has said, you can't go back to work right now. He's so fragile from all that's gone on in the last few years. So she's just really at the mercy of trying to figure out you know, what his life looked like. So that's our car recipient. She's very deserving. I think she's gonna be floored. And we're gonna get it set up. So as we come into town, we'll turn off into this parking lot that's right before we get to her apartment. So we are going to, first of all, be waiting outside of her front door. She doesn't know we're coming. Kevin and Brenda are gonna call her, say go to your door. We're gonna deliver some stuff. Like, oh yeah, here's some gift cards, whatever. And then like the ultimate surprise ever is going to drive up with a bow on it. A car, what? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. <laughs> oh, bless you all. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, we will. <laughs> you got it. Absolutely. Merry Christmas. I know. Merry Christmas. What do you think, kiddo? Yeah. <laughs>